Happy New Year, everyone! I'm just going to be shopping the Aniasi of Grande Tomatoes, Peppers, of Grande everything. So I'm just going to quickly shoot. Okay guys, red onion one, tomato puree, organic tomato puree, some freshly ground tomatoes, and the remaining one in the jug, and I got my pan empty at the moment, I am going to be making my stew, and look at the chicken, Okay, guys. Now mind my children in the background talking. Okay, I'm using Kuli 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 Granatoy. Kuli Kuli Granatoy. I hope you guys can see it. It's Kuli Kuli Granatoy. Kuli Kuli Granatoy. Kuli Kuli Oil. It's what I'm using to make my New Year's Day. Put some oil in the pan. Some oil in the pan. Okay, and you can see the yummy, yummy, yummy chicken and the one over there. Okay, my spice cupboard. Got so much spice in there. There's so much spice in my spice cupboard. So much spice, tropical Africa woman. Wish so much spice. Okay, guys. Let's wait for the oil to heat up a bit. Waiting for the oil to heat up, and then. I love this spoon. I got it from Sainsbury's. Very nice. Okay, I'm just waiting for my oil to ready. And then I'm going to start frying my stew. This is a special stew. It's a New Year's Eve, January 1st, 2019. My first stew of the year. I'm just waiting for the oil. Still waiting, still waiting, still waiting. When the oil is done, the first thing I'm going to do is add a bit of salt. Just a bit of salt. No? Oh, that's my salt. And my little salt container is a cow. I'm going to get from the fridge. My garlic. And I'm going to be using 
forgot to show you guys I saved some of my chicken and turkey stock which I'm also going to be using okay let's get cooking the oil has heat up a bit so let's get cooking my daughter is going to help me to hold the camera don't move the camera girl okay so I'm going to add a bit of salt first a little of garlic if I feel I need to add more and I think I'm going to add a little bit more garlic Adding my curry, curry, my curry from Asda. I just had until I feel okay. Can I stop? So I'm going to stir them all together. Just let the aroma come, come out of the pot. I'm going to be adding my tomato paste, organic tomato paste. Oh, I got this tomato paste from. I got this tomato paste from Costco. It's very nice. So 
I'm going to be using the whole of it because I'm cooking a lot of stew. Just tearing it together. So now it looks blend together enough. I'm going to add my tomatoes now. I'm using an electric cooker. So I've increased the heat to five. Just going to wait for it to boil up a bit. Then I will add whatever I want to add next. I'm going 
going to do next is I'm going to add a bit of my meat stock because it's a bit too thick. So I'm going to add a bit of my meat stock. Some water to use. I don't use all the water, just a bit. Maybe like two of this spoon or two and a half of this spoon. Depends. So I just had it. So it's one, two, and then I keep the rest. Or if not, I'll just have the chicken stock a bit more. Okay, I'm going to be adding one more spoon of the meat stock and a bit of aromatic. So just bring it to your desire. And stay. And taste it. African woman way. I think it's enough stock inside. Okay, I think that should be okay now. I don't so much like putting time on my stew. Taste it a little bit again. I'm going to do now. I'm going to cover it to cook. And then once it's well a bit more, I'm going to be adding the turkey. Once it boil a bit more, I'm going to be adding the turkey and the chicken. Look at that. It looks so tempting. It looks like as if I fried, but I didn't fry it. I just season it when it was raw, place them in an oven tray, oven tray, cover them with foil, put it in the oven, when it was almost, it practically is almost cooked, remove it, drain the water out, put it back in the oven and let it dry and then it comes out like as if you fry it. Okay guys, stay tuned. I'm going to show you 
where I put the chicken nest. We're waiting for it to just boil up. Okay, my stew is bubbling away. I've reduced the heat to four. So now I'm going to I'm going to be putting the chicken now and the turkey. That's what I'm going to do now. Use the heat a bit more. If I stuff the meat, oh my yum 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 chicken and turkey. I'm going to be putting them now. Oops. Yeah, I've splashed this up everywhere. And chicken, I season them with chicken seasoning. And it tastes really yummy, really, really yummy. I'm not going to be using the whole of it anyway, so I'm going to put in the fridge. going to stay careful guys when you're staring it's just flashing it's looking tempting it's looking tempting and yummy This with white rice. So this is our first New Year stew. My first Nigerian New Year stew. I'm just going to taste it just to make sure there's no need to put salt or any more in it. The African way. going to be put in the fridge this one we are just going to eat it maybe with salad or something else and I made puff puff earlier I'll show you guys I made puff puff earlier and they've nearly eat it all so maybe I will attach the video of how I was frying my puff puff Instagram. I have a video of it, a complete video of it on Instagram. My Instagram page is Sophia Tailoring. And I 
I also made some spring grow earlier on. My African stew for white rice, so you can use to eat eba with okra. Or you can eat to eat spaghetti or pasta. Okay, guys. So I'm going to serve it with um, white rice and I'll show you how it looks. Thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumb up, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already, if you like what you see. Thank you guys. Thank you. Happy New Year once again. Bye!